Cesc Peregrino is an FPSO, a floating production, storage and offloading unit designed to produce heavy oil. This oil is too thick to flow and be transported in pipes, unless it's heated up to 65 degrees Celsius. But how do you heat up millions of barrels of thick oil? This was one of the challenges facing Mesk Peregrino, the most expensive and advanced vessel ever built by Mesk. The head office of Mesk FPSO is located in Lungbe, outside Copenhagen. Here, people from more than 20 different countries service and operate the five floating production units of the Mesk FPSO fleet. Stig Hofmeier is CEO of Mesk FPSO. The outlook for FPSOs in the future is very promising and encouraging. There is a great need for oil and gas for many years to come, and more and more of the oil production will be on deeper water. So you can have an FPSO production on up to 3,000 meters. Good morning, well, it's uh, Jeppe here regarding the process safety reference group. Maersk FPSOs operate five floating production units. The Volv outside Stavanger, Norway. North Sea producer, Aberdeen, UK. Maersk Curlew, Aberdeen, UK. Nakosa 2, Congo and Mesk Peregrino in Campos Basin, 85 kilometers from the coast of Brazil, north of Rio de Janeiro. The biggest challenge of solving the job in Brazil was to make sure that everything combined would work out in the end. It's uh, more than 15 million man hours that has gone into production and uh, combining all the components, having all the people who have worked on the production and the design of the vessel Making sure that everything worked out well in a safe and efficient manner was the biggest challenge. Mesk Peregrino was converted from VLCC Mesk Nova in Singapore. The rebuilding lasted more than two years and cost more than one billion US dollars. The coordination work has been immense. Ship parts and components were delivered from all over the world. The boilers were made in Denmark. The turret was engineered in Norway. The turbines came from England, the topside engineering came from Houston, and topside fabrication from Batam in Indonesia. Everything was integrated in Singapore, assisted and coordinated by the head office in Copenhagen. There is a total of 200 kilometers of pipes on Peregrino. The uh, biggest uh, challenge for uh, this vessel is the um, hard and uh, solid oil that is uh, only floating when it's heated. So we have uh, oil in the, in the ground that we have to take out and we have to keep it above 70 degrees Celsius so it can float and be fluid. And that is the biggest challenge for this vessel. And this is the first uh, real large scale uh, production of what is called heavy oil in the Brazilian waters. The oil from the platform consists of a mixture of gas, oil, water and sand that needs to be separated and cleaned. This is done in the FPSO separation unit at very high temperatures between 120 and 150 Celsius. The gas is used to produce steam and electricity while the water is cleaned and sent back to the reservoir under the seabed. The oil fraction is stored in the ship's tanks, where the heating system keeps it warm until it's offloaded to a commercial tanker vessel. This process requires a lot of energy, which is supplied by the ship's own boilers, turbines and generators, with a capacity of 72 megawatts, enough to power 150,000 households. There's a special safety element uh, related to Mars Peregrino because of the, uh, the heat and uh, environment and the hot water treatment. Also hydrocarbons on board, uh, a lot of systems and procedures are in place to make sure that we uh, constantly have uh, alertness and focus on safety. We have had a very good uh, safety record with only two LTIs out of uh, 15 million man hours in four years and that's uh, something that we are, we are quite proud of. 
The vessel is now completed in Singapore and is sailing on its 34-day long trip to Brazil. Here, 85 kilometers outside Rio de Janeiro, Maersk has a contract with Statoil to operate for at least 15 years. The client Statoil uh, operate the field, the Peregrino field. Within that field, there are two superstructure-sized fixed wellhead platforms, you know, fixed structures to the seabed. We tie into the middle of that and the oil is produced from the wells below these platforms and is pumped to us on the FPSO. The Stat Oil field contains two fixed drilling and wellhead platforms. Maersk Peregrino is fixed to a large buoy between the platforms, to which its turret is connected. Ten cables and flow lines keep the buoy and the vessel firmly anchored to the seabed. The vessel can freely rotate around the buoy, enabling optimum orientation in relation to the wind, waves and current. Together, the two platforms comprise 37 wells that descend 2,300 meters into the reservoir. Pipelines from the platforms lead the oil to Mesk Peregrino through the turret and take back separated and cleaned water. The contract we have with our client Statoil uh, states that we will operate, build this vessel with best available technology, best technology available to the oil market. And that's what we've done. Mesk Peregrino has a tank capacity of 1.6 million barrels of oil and processes up to 100,000 barrels of oil a day for Statoil, who own the rights to the oil field. Peregrino field is uh, the most important operator ship we have uh, outside uh, Norway. And I think uh, we, in a good way, have managed to transfer that experience from Norway to here. And uh, I think this creates a lot of value for Statoil, but also for Brazil as a country. I think we have an excellent relationship uh, with Maersk and with all the other contractors as well. This is a Peregrino family putting three large installations together uh, and bringing it to stream at the same time. Because we've come to Brazil with the belief that we have the tools, the ability and the expertise to be the best. Now, we're going to have to prove that, but that's our aim. We're, we're not here to run second best, we're here to be the best. We expect Peregrino to work uh, offshore Brazil for up to 30 years. Um, the field is uh, the first uh, production now and there are more wells to be drilled in the coming years and potentially it could be up to its designed lifetime of 30 years. Mesk Peregrino has a capacity to process about 100,000 barrels of oil a day, enough to produce two days of electric power for the whole country of Denmark. And she's expected to remain where she is as long as the field can continue producing oil.